Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use some of these cherries and some lemon to garnish this, the Long Beach iced tea. But first, this. All right, so let's get into this. Now, we know that the Long Island iced tea was made in New York and in Tennessee, respectively, and they've been fighting over who actually made it first and better. However, this is the Long Beach iced tea. Where it comes from, as far as I can figure, it's probably Long Beach, California. If you know the answer, please leave that down in the description below. And while you're at it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that thumbs up notification and hit the bell. However, this is a variation of the iced tea and it does contain the five whites. So, and a few other things here, which we'll get into. So stick around, let's get right into it. So the first thing, of course, I need is my mixing glass. The next thing, of course, I'll use is my jigger. Now, all of these five whites are exactly the same measurement, and they are half an ounce or 15 milliliters. So first thing we need, of course, is vodka, and I'm using Flight Vodka. It's a local vodka to where I live, and I always prefer local if I can. Next, we will use a little bit of gin. And what I've got here is Beefeater London Gin. And of course, it's a dry gin, and we want half an ounce, 15 mils. Next on the list of good things to drink, of course, is a little bit of a white rum. I've got Bacardi white rum here. If you think I should use a different type of white rum, leave that down in the comments as well, please. And again, half an ounce, 15 mils. And some tequila, because you can't have any form of Long Island variation without a good tequila. And what I've got here is a little bit of Cazador's tequila. I've really started to grow quite fond of this. We need half an ounce of this, of course, or 15 mils. The next thing, and last of the whites that we're going to use, is triple sec. Now, you could use a Contro or another type of dry orange liqueur. One of the things you'll just have to remember though is that if it is a colored variation, it will affect the coloration of the drink and it may have some changes to the taste as well. So again, another 15 mils or half an ounce. And we're getting there, we're about halfway through now. Next thing we need is a little bit of simple syrup. And the reason I'm using simple syrup and orange juice is because a lot of the recipes that I've seen call for a sour mix, but we don't want to use a store-bought sour mix, so we're going to use individual fresh ingredients. Now, the simple syrup, of course, is a one-to-one -one sugar to water ratio. You heat it up and then uh, just cook it until it incorporates, kind of like going back to grade nine science class. And we need three quarters of an ounce of this or 22 and a half milliliters. And of course, last but not least, we need some lemon juice. And we need the same amount, which is three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. And again, fresh is better. If you don't have access to fresh lemons, you could go to the grocery store and pick up something frozen or off the shelf. Just try and find something that is unsweetened. Looking good so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to shake this in our, uh, in our tin here. We're gonna throw a little bit of ice in here and we'll shake it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Again, the longer you shake it, the more diluted it will become. All right, here we are. Look at that. All right, so we're almost there. Now you can put this in whatever type of glass you want. I, however, like the traditional Collins glass for a long glass look. I find it really attractive and it really works for me. Again, your preferences and depending on how you want to serve it, what you have available. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some ice in here. And we're going to strain this in. A 
Looks okay, nothing special. Looks like a kind of white looking alcohol drink. But we're gonna finish this off with about two ounces of cranberry juice. And this is where it gets its long beach and this will give it more of its long favor, flavor. It'll also add a little bit of bitterness to it. Well, not bitterness, it'll just be sharp. More like a dry taste. And one of the things that I find that this does is it'll actually make it very, uh, um, what do you call it? Kind of smooth and not too sweet. Now that is starting to look gorgeous. We'll just give this a little bit of a stir just to give it a full incorporation. And of course, what we're going to do is we're going to garnish this. We're gonna use a lemon and we're gonna add a lemon wedge. If I use my knife the correct way. Gotcha. And we're not done. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to use a cherry. And these ones still have their stems. They're very, very nice. They taste great. Try not to stab your own hand as you're doing this. And you're just gonna put it through like so. Look at that. Pretty, it's tasty. You just can't go wrong with something that looks like that. But let's see how it tastes. So it smells good. Uh, you can definitely smell the sweetness from the syrup of the cherry. You can smell a little bit of the lemon. You don't really notice anything else with that. And you know, it smells quite good. Let's give this, let's get this out of the way because I'll be liable to poke myself in the eye. That's very good. You get a hint of the cranberry, nicely balanced. The tequila actually comes through more on this one than it does on other variations. And it's not quite as sweet as the original Long Island iced tea, but it is very, very good. And it is very drinkable. On a hot summer's day at the beach, yeah, you could knock back a bunch of these until you roll off your chair and can't get up. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, uh, the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I post a new video, you will be notified. And while you're at it, watch a couple of the other Long Island iced tea variations we've done. But if you don't like a beautiful looking drink or any of these, hit the thumbs down button twice and we'll see you next time. All right, so let's get into it. This drink is the South Beach Iced Tea. And really, I couldn't find a lot of information about where it actually comes from. 